Let's talk about whether or not you're gonna go bald at age 35. I really wanna drive this home. Why age 35 is so important. Now you've probably heard me talk about my theories before on hair loss, but I really wanna talk about it. Age 35, most of you are not anywhere close to age 35, okay? But mark my word, for as many years as it takes for you to become 35 years old, and it may be a ways off, I want you to mark my words today on November 29th, 2017. Mark my words. However much hair you've got left at age 35 is gonna determine how much hair you have for the rest of your life, for the second half of your life. It's, that is how it works. That's my theory. I've seen it happen way too many times. If you are still Norwood 2, meaning you've either got this as Norwood 1 or this as Norwood 2, if you've still got that much hair by age 35 and you don't have any thinning, you're good to go. You're Todd, Todd Bergeon on. You're Anthony Bourdain. You're Tony Danza. You're Ryan Seacrest, you're fine. If you can make it to, with that much hair by age 35, you're good to go. That, what that means is, you may never have an awesome looking beard, but you're gonna be able to keep your hair. If you, it's all about making it to age 35 with that hair naturally. If, if you're taking Propecia to get there, that's a different story. Keep taking Propecia for life, or whatever it is. But naturally, if you make it to age 35 with that much hair, at least Norwood uh, 2 or Norwood 1 with no thinning, you win. So think about this. If you're 20 years old thinking, oh, am I going to go bald? Am I going to lose my hair? Well, you know all my other theories uh, that I've talked about all the time on here. Just think of nothing else. You won't have to worry the rest of your life, am I going to lose my hair? Just think, well, if I'm 20 now, I've only got 15, year, 15 more years to, to wonder about this and to worry about it. And after that, you look in the mirror and think, man, I'm still Norwood too. I'm Norwood one and a half. Okay, Nick was right. He was right. I couldn't grow a full beard until after high school. I looked at my photo of myself at one, age one, and it reflected that I would have a, a Norwood one and a half or two or one by age 35. Nick was right about his projection. He was, I've been, I've been calculating and carrying this with me for 15 years, and now Nick, he was right all along. It's all about how much hair you have at age 35. It determines your that I was right all along about your DNA. Many of us, like me, it was in our DNA all along that we would go bald and that we would have a good beard. And then for the rest of you, you lucky lottery ticket winners, you are going to struggle to grow a good beard. You're going to struggle to have chest hair and that sort of thing, maybe. Hence the saying, it'll put some hair on your chest. No one needs to put hair on my chest, trust me. That's the payoff. You're either or, and it's all figured out by age 35. Men who are going to lose most of their hair have already started the process by age 35. Everything else is just the maturing hairline, you know, all the way up to Norwood too, however you want to define that. It's that simple. It's about how much hair you have at age 35. And my theories helped help you predict how that's going to be based on your photo at one year old that your hairline at age 35 based on your ability to grow a full beard where if you shave it the next day you've got stubble if that's you still in high school you're going to be like me but if you still have a weak beard or a barely beard by the time you graduate chances are you're still going to have that norwood 2 or norwood 1 by age 35. age 35 is what you need to wonder about and worry about and think about and base it off of all my theories Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. I'm not a professional. <laughs> I'm not, I'm just a guy with a YouTube channel. But I am so proud of the fact that I've figured this stuff out and no one else is talking about it because what are they trying to do? They're trying to sell hair transplants and sell drugs, you know? And I'm just saying, I can help you figure out if you're gonna lose your hair. And then that way it gives you uh, an opportunity to grasp that as reality and think, what do I wanna do about this? Do I wanna get the hair transplant? Do I wanna take Propecia? Or do I want to be like Nick and just be a balding advocate and embrace the fact that for thousands of years, we can go back to the Bible, we can go back to statues of all those philosopher guys and see that they were bald and bearded. Nick knows that he's going to be bald and bearded for most for the second half of his life. He knows that. Or do you say, you know what? I don't want to be a balding advocate. I want to be a hair loss helper. And a hair loss helper is someone who says, you know what? I realize I'm losing my hair, but I want to try to stop it. And there's nothing wrong with that if that's part of your identity. You get to choose. See, here's how it works. Here's the closing of this video. It's this simple. Either you're going to be balding and bearded, meaning by age 
35, you realize that you're like me and you're actually Norway 3. And then you get to decide, do I want to be a hair loss helper and try to stop it? Or do I want to accept it and just be bald and bearded? Either that's your fate or you're going to struggle to have hair under your arms. You're going to struggle to have a beard until you're out of high school. And you win that lottery, though. You don't, get to, you don't have to worry about losing your hair. It's so predictable. It's so predictable. I understand there's exceptions to the rules. I understand that. But if I'm right 80% of the time, and I'm giving new direction and new hope to young men who are seeing signs of hair loss, I've done something remarkable and miraculous. I may never be as famous as I want to be on my theories. I hope I am. I hope that the rest of the world catches on, that I actually have discovered a theory that is valid. But maybe not. And I can't worry about that right now. What can I worry about is helping you understand I've got some theories and they're really making a whole lot of sense. I'm Nick Shell and I discovered these original 